Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we are back with Timberborn, and right now we're following Azebo, uh, he's one of our foresters, keeping the farms going, well not really the farms, keeping the forest industry going. Last time though, we made a big, big breakthrough as we finally have our smelter and a way to transfer the metal resources here. As you can see, we have 39 scrap metal. This requires 30 metal blocks. So we need 60 scrap metal in here. Um, these guys are getting hungry over here. So what if we, one second, we're gonna do this. We're gonna allow for bread. Then we'll allow for carrots. We're gonna delete that path. And then we're gonna delete that path. We're gonna reconnect this place. That way they can get food from it. Then we're going to speed it up, because I'd rather not have these guys die. These carrots over here are taking way too long to grow. They're only 44% good. Meanwhile, over here now, though, we should be getting carrots. There we go. Now we got some carrots. And we should be getting rid of some of that scrap metal. Okay, so as we get rid of the carrots, now we can... Yes, delete. As we do that, we can do that again, and just do that. There we go, now our guys have a little bit of food. Uh, they still have 70, that's fine. That's perfectly fine, because we're still over here harvesting some trees. We got a little bit of food going, not a whole lot, but there's not too much we can do except keep an eye on them. Make sure they're over here and make sure that they're pumping water. Which both of the water tanks are empty. That's not good. What are you looking like? We got a few carrots in here. But mostly carrots up there. Still enough for like another day or two. That'll be fine. No big deal, no big deal. Sorry if y'all were expecting um, some spooky, scary Callisto today. I gotta go to work in like two hours and I don't know how long those missions really run for. The last one was way too long. Without editing. Uh, so you take into account editing and everything, and I probably spend like three hours on every video between gameplay and maybe another hour or so editing, uploading, making thumbnail, and it's just not time I have today. Maybe tonight, if I get off at a reasonable time, we'll do a double feature day, and I'll record both, but if not, I apologize and enjoy some beavers for your hardships that I have inflicted. Look at that. Oh, how much do we have? We have six of 30. We almost have explosives. We're so close to explosives. Y'all don't even understand. And the first thing I'm blowing up is right here, so I can put a district gate right there. While I drink my coffee and we watch these little demons run around. They're not actually little demons. Look at them. Look how cute they are. They look at them. They're sitting there on their tummy. If we really slow it down, they're just chilling. There we go. And they're just vibing. Vibing. I can't blame them. I'd be vibing too. Looks like a lot of fun. We have no children over here. 21 adults. We have 11 adults altogether. Do we have any... Uh, we have four beavers without a job over here. Do we have room for another hauling post? We don't really need anything over here right now. Not necessarily. I also had another idea. I know I wanted to do the, uh, yeah, this over here. That's going to be so many resources. Oh, my God. Thank God there's a mine somewhere over here. Thank God that exists. But uh, besides that, I was thinking about doing, like, an actual, you know how there's aquatic wind farms? I was thinking about doing one over here because we know we can build out to, like, out here, right? So what if we started to do, like, some platforms? Where do these platforms go? Because it doesn't really matter if these things are flooded, right? So we could do platforms. And I think they have to be, like, one away. So we could start, like... We're just going to kind of game it real quick. So now we would need threes. If we did that, could we put... 
No, they have to be three apart. Okay. So let's let's let the game go in the background while we figure this out. So we're gonna get rid of all these, and then we're gonna get rid of all those. I don't really care about that one down there. I mean, I will eventually, but you know. So they need to be three apart. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. If we did that, could we do some large windmills on top here? See, and they could build all the way out to pretty much where the end of this is. This could become a giant wind farm. Oh, I think I like the idea of that. Okay, we're going to start. Yeah, we're going to start just kind of getting the idea of how many wind turbines this is going to be. So we're going to need a 3x3 three three grid. Just a nice little 3x3 three three grid. Until we get to like right here. That's probably going to be the last one. So now we just fill everything in right here. These are going to have to be the two right there for all this to be just above the water. Okay. And then for this stuff right here, I would honestly probably put it on top of levees just to make it even because, you know, no point not to. That's a dam, not a levee. There we go. That should be... This road's going to have to come around it. We're just going to get rid of this road. And we'll put the road around it. Yeah, because it's going to come right here anyway. So if we just did that, that'll be fine. And then we put some more levees right here, you know. And then we just one, two. Oh, that one is gonna have to move. Oops. I guess we'll put the stairs over here somewhere. We can rebuild those stairs later. Who cares? And the rest of these are just gonna be three tall. that and this is just going to be a massive wind farm now oh missed one so we'll put another levee right here throw on that last right here and every one of those could be a wind turbine now the problem is going to be connecting all of their power That's the really annoying part for this. Mm. I do love some coffee. How's our city doing? Before we get too distracted, how are we doing over here? Plenty of food. A decent amount of water. How are we doing over here? Not a whole lot of food. So we're going to go ahead and do our little trick here. We're going to delete our road. Throw in our road and build how are you doing 13 of 30 okay well they should start filling this place with carrots pretty quickly again yep there we go carrots are going in scrap metals coming out you're full of scrap metal you're almost halfway built so i mean hmm, why is your productivity so low because your fuel Wait, why is your maximum, why is your power input so, is it because it's after working hours, 
Let's see why his productivity is so low. Let's see what he's missing. He's got plenty of... He's got everything, so I don't know why his productivity is so low. Unless it's just because beavers are lazy. Anyway. Delete that path. Throw this path back in and let our beavers eat. There you go, guys. Have food. We gotta keep an eye on them. Make sure they can eat at least for a few more days. Because these carrots... They just harvested their own carrots. Uh, however, they already ate them all. This is not a big enough area for all that. Which is why we have some potatoes up here and a grill down here. Anyway, back to what we were trying to think of over here. It is now actually connecting all of these, right? So now we can put power on all these, sure. Ooh, I do want to... So let's get rid of all of them. I want them all facing, like, at that weird angle that that one was just at. We'll do that, and then we're probably going to have to build a grid completely, like, crisscrossing here just to get all the power where it belongs. You know what I mean? Why was that one just at a weird angle? Oh, they're following the wind right now. Okay. Oh, three days until the drought. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Injured beavers. That's fine for now. This is all okay. This is all okay. Ignore all of this. So what we can do actually is low prioritize the wind farm, high pry the stanchions and the pathways that are going to have to go between it, because we are going to have to build like a full grid here. See all of these can be little ones and then all the ones above it can be big ones. Okay, so let's drop our viewing level here down here and we're just gonna have to do it this way I suppose just to make sure we can get power between all these and then we're gonna have to go three three I do not like that it doesn't let you just continuously drag. You see how it stops me? There we go. Okay, so three, three. And realistically, we don't have to do... Okay, so now we're gonna need the twos, right? Because these need to be built and these need to be built. And if those get built, that's fine because no, 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 no. We're gonna want them to meet up at least over here. So we're gonna build, let's get the threes again. Then we'll get the twos. And then we'll have a power, 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 power source right here. Yeah, we'll have it meet right here, come up over we can submerge it and get it over here eventually kind of like that and then if we go up we'll see that there's now connections between all of them and then they will all connect going one way so if we just throw in the power here hmm Bizarre. Let's put a path right here. Why can't I put path? Why can't I put path? Oh, there's path. Um, there's not stairs. So if we got rid of that path, put stairs. We know they can go one, two, three, four, five, six. So they could pretty much build out to like half of that, I think. 
it's going to get built and we'll figure it out in a second here. So we can build out to like half of it. We'll put some more pathways and stuff. Mm. So we're going to assign very low priority to these. The uh, sky sh or the power itself. We'll assign low priority to that. And eventually they'll just build the rest of this. Like they already built this one right here. Actually, we could just do it in sections. We could delete. That way they don't even accidentally do it. We're going to delete all of those for now. That way we can just put roads on everything and they we know that they... Even if they can't build it all, they'll have a good chance to build it. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? And it is, in fact, an eight-day drought. So let's go check on our beavers over here. Are they hungry? They're hungry again over here. Uh, we have very little food, but we're getting a harvest of potatoes in, which is really good. However, we're still going to do our trick over here, and I'll see you all in another seven and a half days. All right, guys, we are back, and we have a decent amount of our little power area built already. Um, none of the turbines are actually built yet, but we're, I'd say, one-third of the way through the foundation. Um, if you noticed in the time-lapse, I actually started using TNT, so I'm sorry. I know we, we used a little bit of it without, without telling y'all, but, you know, things happen. There we go. Okay. We also have a rooftop terrace for some of our beavers to go chill at now. So now they can go to the we can go to the campfire, we can go to the rooftop terrace. Things are getting pretty good for our beavers. However, there's not a hospital yet. I think that's under well-being. We need a healer. And we needed metal for that. I remember. So let's get that healer. I don't know where we're going to put him yet. We can throw him down here actually and he'll just fit. He'll fit right there because we've emptied this area out for now. At least for now, we've emptied this area almost completely to the bottom. I'd say one more drought and we're going to have access to metal down here. Which means we won't need the uh, second district over here, but we're still going to keep it. And we're going to try and keep it self-sufficient. 
Uh, I wonder if this dam is going to be built before it starts overflowing. We just wanted to keep a bigger reservoir of water in here is all that dam is for. It'll just keep an extra block or half a block's worth of water in there. I don't know if we're going to manage to... Yep, here we go. Oh, that's right. This one doesn't actually have water sources. It relies on this one. I forgot about that. So it might actually get done before the other ones. It only needs 10 more. There's 12. Eight more. Come on, beavers. Come on. Beat the water. Beat the water. There's another four of them coming in. And there's 14. 16, 18, 17, 19, it needs a single log. Oh, come on, guys, come on. It's right at the end of the work day. Are you kidding me? You lazy bat. Oh, we have one guy working into the night. Wait, who is it? Who's going out? Kavlabo. <laughs> God, I hate their names. He's working well into the night to try and secure the future for the beavers. So let's see if he'll, he'll do it. Is he a hauler? He's only a hauler. You lazy bum. Oh well. He's working well past his out. Wait. There's another beaver. Where are you a hauler too? What are you what are you doing? Cause that's already built. Oh, you're dropping logs off of there. Okay. Well, as the sun comes up, our beavers here will eventually build that. They're working well. Okay, it's daytime again. So they should build this now yeah 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 perfect we beat the water and now they just have to build the other two dams because i built this weird little zigzag thing i don't know anymore uh yeah we kind of stopped worrying about metal i think we have a little bit um well we had a little bit uh we're making medicine now for our tent where is our medical tent there it is uh, we have two injured beavers, so we might move the medical tents down here by the healer. That would make sense to me. Or as well being medical, medical, medical beds. There we go. And as those get built, we'll just... There you go. Now it's like a miniature little uh, CCP. And maybe not a CCP, but a tactical trauma TCP. I don't know. And for those of you who don't know what that means, you'll just never know. Ooh, look at the power station. The power station. I wish... I was going to say I wish we could do this with hydroelectric, but we could. But on this map, it might be a little bit difficult to do hydroelectric just because of how much hydro there is versus electric. I'm sure we'll figure it out one day. We will figure it out eventually. How's our trees doing? How's everything else doing? How's the dam doing? Oh, they, it still hasn't even overflowed yet. Perfect. Perfect. I have one more and it's waiting on a single log. And there he is right there. Is it? Ah, it's our same <laughs> Kavlabo. You've, you've come to save the world. He's 39 years old and carrying logs for his daily job. God, that would suck at 39 years old. My knees are shot from carrying logs at 27. I don't even want to think about how I'm going to feel in 12 years. Ugh. Maybe... <coughs> <coughs> Coffee went down the wrong hole. Maybe I won't even be on YouTube by then. Who knows? Oh, God. I really hope I am. I do enjoy making videos for y'all. Uh, it... It, it has moments where it gets taxing to make videos, but overall I really do enjoy making content for my small viewer base. Eventually we'll get to a thousand subscribers. It's only been like four years, you know. Eventually I'll hit the algorithm or I'll do something right. Maybe I'll like beavers. Maybe I'll go back to Cliff Empire. Y'all seem to really, really like Cliff Empire for whatever reason. I don't know what the obsession with that game was it is a really fun game don't get me wrong i loved cliff empire it just seemed like a bizarre it just seemed kind of bizarre that that's the game that my channel responded to if that makes sense i guess 
Uh, we're going to start blasting anyway. So anyway, I started blasting. Uh, we're going to start getting ready for blasting up here. So we're going to bloop, bloop, bloop. And then we're going to start getting resources demolished. Because we're going to start taking down entire mountains now to make more room for our l silly little beavers. Silly little beavers. Silly little guys, aren't they? Just look at them. How's our little district over here doing? Good. We have a little bit of food, but that's mainly because I opened up the supply lines again. The water is overflowing nicely here. And the water overflow just simply doesn't exist over here. Maybe we'll... Ooh. So I have the water dumps, but what if... We made a channel that goes around and still led to an overflow so we have access down here but it still let it overflow over here and then we could do hydroelectric from this area because right now it's just overflowing off the back right so what if hear me out we're gonna end up making another gigantic oh no mm. my hospital's in the way Oh, that would flood the hospital, because I was thinking about literally just doing a line, like, right here of levees, and just letting the water flow that way. But, I mean, once we demolish all this stuff up here, we can really just kind of do what we want. Hmm. We do have a whole lot of water that just flows off the map, though. Not a big fan of that, to be honest, but it is pretty much what it is like there's not too much i can do about that currently and i could always throw the game into creative mode and just finish everything but that's not fun and we're here for fun and dying beaver i mean sir thriving beaver colonies successful stories of beavers against the harsh realities of the world let's get these stupid stairs built so i can start prepping for demo Mm, I'm going to love knocking this entire mountain down. We're probably going to knock it down to right here. That seems like a... F mm, maybe one more down. Maybe this level. This level right here. Oh, wait, it's level with all of our stuff that we already have. I think that's a good level. Ooh, I could TNT and make a slightly deeper trench that comes out over here so we don't flood our... I would have to TNT this to be like four deep. That does look good though, now that it's kind of more controlled over here. Okay. On the bright side, they're like one one block away. We can see the flag on the collector. We can see the collector's flag. It's even to the point where if I put it right here, it might actually work. Who knows? We are making a lot of progress on this, though. This is coming along quite nicely. And then we'll get rid of the roads. We'll put in power sections. I think we'll do the power sections first. Mm. We're gonna have to work like from back to front or something. We'll figure it out. As they keep getting built, we'll just keep figuring it out and then we'll figure out the power, like how to, mm, how to make it go from over here to over here. We can just essentially pipe it under the water because power can be flooded. Oh look, you can see the full flag now. So excited, so excited. We have four injured beavers, are you kidding me? What? Build these frickin' medical tents, please. They require five logs. How many logs do we have? We have an abundance of logs, unless... Are we sending all the logs down here? I think that's what we're doing, aren't we? It just said we had a hundred and something logs. Where are all of our logs hiding? 102 here. Where, where are all of our logs here? 
Why do we have 102 logs here? Oh, we have a log pile here. Where's our log pile up here? Well, you need logs. That's kind of annoying. Not really. I did that on purpose until these guys come become self-sufficient, which they pretty much are. Uh, we can probably end the logs. We'll stop sending logs. If they need them later, we'll send them. They don't really need them for much. Well, building's full in that warehouse. That warehouse is good, though. That's fine. This is all fine. It's part of the plan. Part of the plan. Oh, look how much is getting built now, because they can go for two sections at a time. Also, I do like how this is. Did our hospital beds get... Yes, they did. Okay. Oh, look at them. Um, look at our poor little injured beavers. Poor guys. Okay. Eventually, we'll build, like, a full beaver hospital. We'll build a hos hospice area? I don't know. I'm not good at hospitals. I'm good at running CCPs, not hospitals. That's all I know how to do. I learned no useful skills outside the military. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's what, I, it's what I'm doing 20 years. Hopefully, if my knees hold up. We'll see. That's a big, we'll see. Only another 11 to go. Lee. That's a long time. I do love some coffee, though. <laughs> Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we need currently? We have eight jobs that are um, vacant. That's not good. That's not good. Three of them are inventors. Mm. Does that mean we need more baby? Oh, we have 20 babies, 19 over here. The babies just need to grow up. What can I do to make babies grow up faster? Let me know. Please let me know. Ooh, is that... Oh, oh, is it an observatory? Seven... Ooh. A refinery. Biofuel. Golem parts factory. Golem... I still don't know what the biofuel is for, though. Is that for power? No. Science. Biofuel. Do we need biofuel to make golems? Yeah, yeah, we do. We need biofuel to make golems. Okay. Like I said, I this update still kind of got away from me with the whole golems, and they're releasing another update soon. Ugh. We're going to get rid of this medical bed. Oh, okay. We have that going. We've got our housing over here, which is quite nice. It's a little bit more... I don't know how to say. Mm. Easier to navigate than the last one. The last housing situation we had. Mm. Our water is going quite nicely over here. We keep these areas pretty full. Um... And they just overflow when they're full over here. I could have built a giant, like, actual wall over here. Ooh. We could have expanded this area massively with this. I didn't even think about that. Hmm. Oh, well, not my problem. Not my monkey. Not my circus. Uh, it is my monkeys and my circus. <laughs> I love my life. Anyway. How are we doing over here? Uh, we need planks. Planks, planks, planks. It's been a while since the last drought. Oh, speak of the devil. And he himself shall appear three days to the drought. Okay. Well, how are we doing over here? We have five unemployed beavers over here. And seven. So what if we migrate some? Uh, we're going to... Migrate from District 2. 5. There we go. And that should leave us with two less jobs over here. Perfect! What do you know? 
sometimes things do just kind of work out. We still have two and a half days for the drought. I mean, we're pretty much prepared for the drought. Our reservoirs are full. We don't need another pumping station over here. Would probably be nice, but it's not necessary. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else do we need? Let's start looking. We have storage. We can do underground warehouses with this faction, which is nice. They hold a thousand. However, or they hold four thousand, right? Yeah, they hold four times the amount of the big warehouses, these guys. But they take up a lot of space. Well, they take up the same amount of space, but they can't be stacked. I think that's the issue that I have with them. Um... That they can't be stacked. Let's get up here. Let's start getting ready to TNT some things. We got two days until the drought. If we can start leveling this area, ooh, you know what? Hmm. Big brain idea here. What if we cut a trench through here? Nope, never mind. I was thinking about trying to split the water right here and still have it loop around. That way we could have more farmland right here. I mean, actually, that's not a bad idea. Because both of the... If I leveled all of this, right? We'll say from, like, here to here. Just leveled it straight to over here. To the same level. And then cut a trench. And then let a water flow go like right here we would be able to share this area as farmland like both cities could have farming settlements on either side they wouldn't have to connect via road but they could plant and harvest the same area and then it would benefit both communities district one and two which y'all still haven't left me names for you mm. Anyway, so if we did come up here, we would be able to say we throw a path right here, right? And we throw a path up here. And then we, we wouldn't even need a path. We just need that to be built. How much TNT do we have right now? We have 74. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a big brain idea, right? Okay. So I'm going to start planning some stuff here. Because this is going to have to get cut from right here, pretty much. We'll do like a three-wide channel over here. And then from over here, we're going to do a... Let me just kind of roughly kind of get this going. So if we did like a three-wide channel, like one... Like right here, right? Oh, God. I can't do anything right now. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Even if we did like a two wide, like right here. We got rid of this, right? We get rid of this. Because we can build down infinitely, which is nice. We get rid of you. We know this is the level of the dam that we're dealing with. So if we come right here with like a two wide, because that is a straight road. So right here. If we came in line with this road, right? Like this road is just not there anymore. And we did one, two. Because that's the level that we're going to knock it down to, right? One, two. I think so. It should be like one below right here. Uh, we're. Oh, it's a six day drought, so we'll see everybody in a few minutes.
Alright guys, the drought's ended and as you can see, this new land for farming can't come any quicker. Our beavers are starting to run out of food over here. I think that's more on me. I wasn't checking on how much food we were sending to this district. And we might have transferred a good amount of our food, but we are slowly recovering. They're keeping food in stock. Um, that doesn't mean that every beaver is going to get to eat and some may die. It sucks. Uh, it's the nature of the beast, but we are about a third of the way, two thirds of the way done with this at least. Um, they still got a lot of work to do on the actual reservoir in the area that we're going to have. I actually think that I'm going to mm, landscaping. I think that we're going to leave it as a two wide. So I do think it's going to be a two wide. And as we get the terraforming golems, we're going to come through and add in land all right here, which is very doable. Um, we'll add in some land right there and then we'll get rid of, uh, yeah, we'll add in land and that'll also add some farming area because we're going to knock this all the way down to that level, which means we have about another two layers to TNT. Um, as you can see, the, the hungry beavers are hard at work. Uh, the food is catching up, but it's slow. We have way too many beavers. We have 78 beavers in this district alone. Uh, we have, we have 20 beavers over here. 20 over here, 78 plus 5 is 83. Math, quick maths. Okay. However, we're just storing the wrong things. We're not cooking enough food. Oh boy. Um, we're hanging on, barely. As the carrots come and go, we're doing better, but... It's a little rough over here, not gonna lie. This new farming area needs to hurry up. Um, we're gonna need a lot more TNT and a lot of logs to at least build the first parts of this dam. And as we build this, we'll add some power wheels and stuff in, but that's, that's for another day. Uh, so... We're going to leave y'all on a cliffhanger. Will we make it through the next episode? Let me know down in the comments below. And thank y'all for joining, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.